Welcome back guys if you're into Bible prophecy things of scripture and looking at the things of the world and wondering what is going on This is the place for you. This is where you will feel at home Because there's many many things that are happening at the moment It's so hard to keep up with everything that's going on and um, Prophetically and all the things that are happening in the world But these couple of different videos have been laying at my feet and I believe that these truly are signs and um, that the times are starting to change that we are coming ever so close to the return of Christ it's very hard to ignore these signs what I want you to do like I always ask is to watch the full thing in its full context to get an understanding but know that the return of Christ is very near also what I always ask is smash that like button and get this out to as many as possible and if you're a first time here if it's your first time um, to prophecy unfolded consider subscribing and become part of the family have a look at this I might live to see this event called the rapture of the Church of Jesus Christ we'll get into that in a moment where Christ comes there's a moment coming in history, folks, where God the Father leans over to the Son and says, Son, go get your church. And suddenly Jesus says, Gabriel, get the trumpeters, get the horns. Let's, let's blow the trumpet blast. There's going to be a, a great shout from heaven. And the Bible says the dead in Christ will be raised first. And then we who are alive and remain shall be gathered together with them in the clouds. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Folks, that's in the Bible. That's biblical truth. There is going to be a gathering from the earth of the church. But I'm going to show you what that might look like based on the days of Noah. It's amazing when you start looking at it. Now, a man named Noah was building a place of safety for his family, which would lift all of them above and out of the flood that was soon coming upon the ungodly. He was... <laughs> He was building a boat, an ark of safety. He heard the words of God. And their whole society at that time is not hearing the words of God, but there was one man called Noah that actually heard what God was speaking. And Noah began to build based on the word of God, which is why a biblical worldview is so important right now. We can't just build our lives on emotion or songs or or just going to church and all of those things are good we have to have those things but our our lives have got to be built our, our pursuits have to be built on the word of god there has to be this biblical worldview and obviously noah had a biblical worldview in his time the biblical worldview is that the world is about to be judged by god because of the weight of its sin but god has prepared a place of safety for those who can hear what he's speaking to his people and for you and I today, that place of safety is in the cross of Jesus Christ. It's in the shed blood of the Son of God. It's in the promise of the Son of God. I will never leave you or forsake you. I've not come to judge the world, but I came that the world might be saved. When you came to Christ and gave him your life as your Lord and Savior, you entered into the ark of safety that's been provided for this generation. Second Peter chapter 2 and verse 5 talks about Noah not just building the ark at this time, but he was a, a preacher of righteousness, a, 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 a voice that, that's saying essentially to the people, judgment's coming, folks. The weight of sin has become intolerable to God in this world. There are lines you can't cross with God. And when those lines are crossed, God says, I'm sorry, I, I, would, I would like to extend time, but I can't. There's something in the heart of God. There's something about the nature of God and the holiness of God. And looking down on the creation, when he has created humankind in his image and we have allowed debauchery to, to get a hold of us to the point where we're, in a sense, not, not able to even hear anymore the cautions of the word of God. And he looks down and says, it, it, it can't go on anymore. And